Thanks for hanging with Mr. Short Game. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Short Game. Right, What's Mr. your secret short game tip of the day? Visualization. Visualization? And right, mine but. is make sure you go all the way through. Don't stop it. Go all the way through your stroke. Finish your stroke. There Finish you your stroke. From the great Kenny Lofton. Professional athlete. Well, he knows a little. Used to be. He knows a little bit about hitting a ball. Yeah. Maybe more than a little. It's easier when it's moving. <laughs> So you've heard from Kenny and Bo about what's important to them in terms of short game. So now I'm going to show you how to achieve both of those things, visualization and follow through, both of which are crucial when it comes to your short shots. Okay, so Kenny talked about following through on your chip shots, right? He's absolutely right. You have to follow through, but it's so hard to do on such a short shot. And there's two things I want you to work on to help you achieve the feeling you're looking for. Remember, following through on a chip shot is not, that's not a follow through. You have to rotate, it's all rotation. All rotating around your body. You're not moving forward because that's going to dig the club into the ground. You want to rotate. So think about taking this hip and putting it back here. You know, your weight, you could just start a little weight forward, sure. But the key is get this moving around and connect the body to it as well. Turn, turn. That's one piece. Then the other piece is take your alignment stick. These are great to use. Okay? And just hold it hold it down the, the shaft and push it up against your side and leave it there the whole time. Okay? Just, you're just gonna turn like this. I know it's gonna feel awkward. It's really, you're, you're really worried about the forward swing on this. And just keep it against your, you cannot throw your, you can't throw your hands forward with this stick against your body. And that's the, the crucial piece of this. So just, Keep it to your side the whole time. That's the feeling, then get rid of it. Now you're good to go. You're literally spinning around in rotation. And that's it, that's how you follow through. That's how you avoid this. That's not a follow through, obviously. But you have such a short shot, a lot of people just wanna go, and it's just not going to work. Even on the shortest shots, you need this type of rotation. Then you can start controlling the distance, the trajectory, everything you need. That's the rotational piece of this. And now Bo talked about visualization. What most people don't realize is that visualization on chip shots is totally different than visualization on full shots. And so we need to learn how to visualize chip shots because think about it, you're hitting a full shot. Well, my seven iron goes so far, pretty much. So I'm just visualizing kind of the shape and the trajectory of that shot. When it rolls, it's gonna hit, kind of stop, maybe roll out a little bit or wedges, they're gonna back up or just stop. So visualizing full shots, completely different than visualizing chip shots and most people don't know how to visualize for the short game. And now we're gonna look at that piece because that is huge. So what is visualization on chip shots? Most of the time, what people would do, would they would, they would think, okay, I'm gonna land it in a certain spot and it's gonna roll out to the hole. All right, that's kinda, and we visualize that shot, that one shot. Okay, here's my one shot. Let me put it in my head, land it, roll out. Okay, here's the problem with that philosophy, with that theory, with that method. 
What if it's wrong? What if I pick the wrong shot? Then what do I do? Look, I have, I've got a 60, 55 degree, 50 degree wedge. I have a 46 pitching wedge. I could use a nine iron here. I could putt it with my hybrid. I could putt it with my putter. I could use a seven or I can use an eight iron. I've got a lot of options, right? What do I want to do and what do I want to visualize? You see the problem here. When you visualize one shot, you're stuck with one option. I like to look at it like a, like a chess match. When, when you're playing chess, if, you, if you're into that thing, I'm horrible at it, but what I try to think about is, okay, what happens if I move my pawn right there? It, what's in danger? What, what, is he, what is my opponent gonna do? What if I move my bishop over here? What about my knight, my horse? What if I move that over there? What's gonna happen to me? What's gonna happen to that piece? What's gonna happen to my opponent? And what do they might do because of what I do? That's the theory and the, and the philosophy I try to use when chipping. So I don't just visualize one shot and then go grab the club. I visualize what happens if I hit the 60? What happens if I hit my, now I work my way down, my 55 degree? Well, now I have my 50 and I feel comfortable off this on a tight lie because it has enough bounce. So now I'm thinking about that shot, but I, I'm also visualizing, okay, what happens if I hit my hybrid? What happens if I hit my eight iron? What happens if I hit my seven iron? The same thing applies in chess. What happens if I move this? this? This piece, that piece, this piece, that piece. And I'm analyzing and thinking about all those options. That's why you need to practice all these shots so you can, then you know what they look like in your mind. That's visualization. Kenny and Bo, two great friends of mine. Kenny, an amazing, obviously, you know, world-class baseball player. And Bo, super good dude. I played tons of golf with these guys. Thanks so much for, you know, your suggestion. And it was good to run into you guys at Riviera. Hope you liked the video. Hope it helped your game out. Remember, 75% of your score belongs to the short game. So, work hard. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you in the next video.